fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you 15 February, end of the second week. And uh, a day before a three day weekend in America, I believe there's a President's Day holiday on Monday. So we just mentioned that because that usually means the books will get even a little more cleaned uh, late on Friday today and liquidity will be uh, less good, let's just say, late in New York. Um, as all the New Yorkers either head out to their ski houses or country houses or their apartments, whatever, whatever New Yorkers do these days. Anyway, let's take a look at this uh, Euro Yen. We got what we wanted uh, yesterday. Sold some high ones, uh, added 386, traded around a bit. Now we're down at 124.50, um, getting a lot of questions. What's going to happen today? Well, we really have to just keep an eye on Boons. Um, ideally, we want Boons to make a new high, which is very hard to do because the yield is so low right now. But we're looking for at least a little bit more panic. Uh, we want Boons lower. We want S&Ps, which are, which are down near the lows, yesterday's lows. We need this through 30. Um, but in general, what we're going to do today is we will sell high ones on the day in Euro Yen. And we'll have a good, hard look down here at what's going to happen at 124.22. This is going to be um, very interesting. Uh, and hopefully we'll get a little bit of a pause down there. Use this as, a, as another entry to add to shorts. But anyway, we're core short um, Euro Yen. Also, core short Kiwi Yen and Aussie Yen. Let's have a quick look at these guys. Um, Aussie Yen may already made a new low. You'll remember this level from Wednesday where we were getting long, this 7830 level. Um, the Kiwis, the Kiwis did their thing and, and pushed this thing up to 79.10. But now we're in this key area and we're back through it. You can sell Aussie Yen anywhere between 30 and 50 today. If that's your preferred vehicle, it's pretty much the same trade as, as, as Euro Yen. Bit of a risk off uh, thing. Eventually, uh, this is going to get through 77.50, probably Monday or, or Sunday night. Um, but again, it depends on all of the risk metrics. We have to look at what's happening in EM. We have to look at what's happening in equities, what's happening in bonds. So obviously, as we always do, we'll keep a close eye on that QEN, same type of chart. A little sexier because we had that... Um, you, know, you get that big tail up there, and you know the whole move up in Kiwi was so bogus. Uh, we like this Kiwi Yen core short. Uh, just sit with that. Don't don't need to trade that. Uh, it's horribly illiquid as well, so don't bother trying to trade it. Just get your core short in. If you haven't sold, uh, you try and want to get short between let's say 75, 40, and 60. Um, <clears throat> not sure you're gonna, not sure you're gonna see that. Let's take a look at dollar CAD. Um, bad manufacturing numbers yesterday. CAD yen. Wow, that was a, that was a ripper, huh? We fucking nailed that. Um, not at the exact highs, but we got on board in the 80s uh, and rode that horse. But let's look at dollar CAD now. Look this top side. Uh, looks in jeopardy but in order for it to be in jeopardy we need crude which is like up and down like a horse drawers um, you see this yesterday I mean what the hell all the way down to 53.10 in a, in a in a minute now back up we traded 55 last night what the hell is going on in crude this is I don't know I don't know why anyone trades crude. It's such an insider's market, and the price action is so insane. Anyway, um, keep an eye on crude. If crude does turn back lower, we do like dollar CAD uh, to shift up through this 133.40 area. Um, continued pressure on CAD yen. 
can't chase Cad Yen now. If you missed it, you missed it. We're square now. We're not chasing Cad Yen. We're playing, we're playing in the other crosses. Um, so we just have to. You just have to move on if you miss that. Let's take a quick look at Euro. Uh, this one twelve fifty is massively important. There will be loads of risk down there. We do have Spain, Spanish CPI today, UK retail sales, and, and Eurozone December trade, none of which um, are, are very useful. Um, but that said, this is one. This is now one of these just close your eyes and hit a bid level um, once it's through. So you're not core short going into this, um, but you treat this as a, basically a break trade. You sell 48s, and then you leave some sort of trailing stop after the, you know, give it a minute or two after the wash is finished. Um, this is what this is this type of trade similar to yesterday in, in um, Euro Yen at 124.86. I'm not sure this is going to trade. It's unclear what Euro's doing, but uh, keep keep this in mind. And finally, dollar Yen. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Mark got caught sleeping up here. This retail sales number really shocked uh, shocked the world. And now we're in this uh, diabolical uh, direction towards basically tons of stops below 110. This is, I would say, going to happen today. You want to be core short dollar yen. You can express it through cross yen. You can express it through dollar yen. Um, but uh, in the tactical book, uh, we will be um, selling dollar yen today, playing it on the short side. Finally, equities. Uh, we got a little bit frustrated with equities yesterday. That moved back to 58, uh, and we ended up reducing our risk. Uh, so we have a much smaller position on than we would like. This confirms down through 30. 2730. This is this is confirming the turn, um, and this is basically the same trade as cross yen, the same trade as dollar yen. It's a risk off trade. Uh, if you're more comfortable trading ES, trade ES. If you're more comfortable trading currencies, trade currencies. But you want to sell high ones in ES today. All right, I've said enough. Uh, listen, good luck out there, people. Uh, make some dough, and I uh, will see you.